Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the SAS Blizzard series. Today we're going to be talking about how to show navigation icons and uh, page heading icons. So if we see the response from the Express, that API is still not available. They are planning to add this in the uh, proximo feature. And they actually give a workaround that pretty much you can with CSS find what is the, the child of the navigation item and then in there just insert the image and we have been trying to do this uh, with javascript like using a contains and trying to find by text the the div and then try to insert the this image before but we have not been successful because as they say there is not uh, attributes to identify the content so pretty much what we come up with is uh, I remember a long time ago I was listening to one podcast from Hanselman and he was saying like they were trying to talk about designer and what icon they will use and then he just say no why we don't use a Unicode and that ring the bell and then after trying a lot of things we just came here and pretty much had an emoji as a test and it worked so that simple is so the good thing is like it's not only for that emoji part, we can select any Unicode. We have a complete Unicode character table here. If we see the set, they are any they are colors. They are let's say that we're gonna select an an envelope. And let's scroll up. Let's give it a second. Okay, let's select this one. Let's copy it and let's go to the application. And let's run it. So with that one, we will have already some navigation icons because the issue about putting the icons with CSS is like when you, because they are doing it by position. So we're saying for the first navigation, let's put this icon for the second one. When we are hiding or showing by permissions, that gets messed up. And we we'll do another video later about how to do a custom login. So that's also coming here. Let's log in for just a minute. And voila, we have here our envelope for the first navigation or application. And if you see here in the nested, here are the icons that we put through CSS, but this is hard code. So that's the only issue besides that. I think that this is a great workaround that we have finally have the uh, supported API by the Express. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.